Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. I have discovered what to do. I was taking a look around the station, because this is obviously the most unexplored area that I've hit so far. Well, actually, I suppose the water planet would be a little bit more unexplored. But uh, regardless, this place is obviously unfinished. There's a lot of data pads I haven't hacked or logged into and stuff like that. And here is what I need to do. This damaged door can actually be torched through. So it turns out you actually can use the laser to open doors. Just not... For some reason you can't use it on the other one, but you can use it on this one. I can't use it on the door back at Xenophon. Which doesn't really make any sense, but anyway. So I'm assuming the reason I, cha I had to change the air mixture was because if I used the torch with the previous mixture, it probably would have caused an explosion or something like that. That's my guess, because I, I still don't actually know why I bothered with the mixture. We've just found the epicenter of the explosion. Yep, another corpse. Allow me to inform you that nobody... Oh, shut up, Mobot. You'd never understand. That was quite rude to Mobot. But thankfully, Mobot doesn't have any feelings. Mobot, what can you tell us about the cause of this explosion? My analysis indicates the explosion was caused by an electrical surge that reacted with the highly explosive air in here. The air is not breathable, so that would mean... That the explosion took place after the crew died. Can you confirm that? Not easily, but maybe the corpse will reveal more information. Look what I've found. The will preserved remains of a human male, probably in his 30s. Cause of death? Fall from... Oh, wait, this is... This is from uh, back on the... Uh, the ice planet. Wait, I never examined these? Hm. I guess not. <laughs> Cause of death, fall from an extremely high place resulting in injuries not compatible with life. It's a very euphemistic way for it to put it. Eden Darlington. I thought I already examined these before I quit last time. I probably just never saved my game. Yeah, that's probably it. Alright, so this is a new one. Numerous fractures of skull and bones caused by the high-velocity impact of heavy objects. It is probably the result of an explosion. Roger Callan, which matches his card that we found on his body. Alright, let's go see what's on this card. Or, not what's on the card, but what's in his his files. Civilian Research Department. Mm, take a look at images first. The heck is that? Alien ants? And more rocks. So many rocks. Benjamin Walter and Roger Callan. Just shut up and calm down. I'm so fed up with this. But I've bloody seen it. You know what? Go and see Marita. She'll help you for sure. I really don't have time to babysit scared little boys anymore. We have far bigger problems to deal with. Real ones. Take it easy, Benjamin. Just leave me alone. Yep, that's the plan. Okay, so they hated each other. I assume Roger's probably talking about having seen the, the creature, Zier. Go see Marita? Okay, next log is with Marita. 
Can I visit you, please? Sure, what's up? Oh yeah, we saw this um, this conversation from the other side, from Marita's perspective. Yeah, I'm feeling very odd. You think someone's body can react to infrasound by having visions? Oh, okay, so that's the password for his databad. Roger Callan 313012. Stephen Prinz. Mm, do you have a theory about that green stuff? Not really. Looks organic, though. Sweet. Are you able to analyze it? Nope. We would need much better equipment to even scrape the surface. Okay. 313012. Okay, where's the datapad? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can remember it. Yeah, right. Roger Callan. 313012. No, that can't be right. It's short. Three one three oh one two. And you spell his name like, well, that. Three one three oh one two. Uh why is it short? It's short. Can I see his middle name somewhere? Doesn't seem so. Does it have to fill out the entire password thing? Like, I haven't been paying attention. I don't know if that actually needs to be filled out. Does it actually tell you how many characters the password is? Because actually it shouldn't. That'd be terrible security. Because if that's irrelevant, then maybe it's just the number and then his name. Like, maybe I'm just doing it in the wrong order. Well, no, he says my name then... Eh, whatever. Let's try it the other way. 3 one three zero oh, one two. Roger Callan. The fuck? Is... is Roger short for something? I'm gonna work at this and I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, so it wasn't his full name, it was just Roger313012. Alright, let's see what we have here. I will never forget what we saw down there. But have we done the right thing? So many questions and definitely no answers from Andrew Lark himself. I'm not really sure why he changed his mind so quickly. If I was given commands, I would prefer a more cautious approach. Well, there's nothing that can be done now. But that dream will probably keep haunting me forever. Standing there and seeing their bodies explode with those blasts. I was sure they were non-violent. They came to greet us. Talking about the, uh... The, 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 the thing... Uh, God, I totally forgot what they're called. The things from Am Ambrosia. What are they called? I don't know. I'm unable to think straight, or even write these datapad notes any longer. There's something out there. I know it. Marita is trying to give me sedatives. But I know better. I'm not going to take any of these. My mind needs to stay sharp. That's the only way I can really survive. I'm sure the sound is calling me. They don't hear it? Fine. But I will stop at nothing to find out what it is. Huh. I've seen something. 
and that something is damn huge. I talked about this with Benjamin, but he doesn't believe me. He thinks that I'm nuts because his fancy gadgets show nothing. We shall see, Mr. Computer. We shall see. I know when I see something with my eyes. Something tried to eat me alive, and yet nobody believes me. Bloody idiots. I am not going to die here. I did some snooping around, and I think I found out most of Benjamin's code to his datapad. He is paranoid, but not paranoid enough. I know that his code starts with blah blah blah. I think the last digit must have been a number. But I can't risk trying it right now because he will surely find out. I need one more try to get the rest. I am sure he, that he knows more than he's telling us. What if he controls it somehow? I will get to the bottom of this before it's too late. Alright, I got in. I'm no longer convinced Benjamin is guilty. He's trying to track the sound as well. But what if it's controlled by Andrew Lark? Or even by our lovely Julia? I smell a big conspiracy to cover up that Ambrosia fiasco. First it was Zenobia, now this place. Like that guy back at Yamabushi Mission Control, Rowlin Gin. He was always talking about Cthulhu and Iron Guardians, <laughs> trying to mess with my thoughts. He said he was joking. But now I know things. Yes, I do. I will build my own device to intercept their communications. A piece of tin foil and rubber bands will suffice. Oh my god, you're going full on conspiracy theorist here. Can't seem to tune into the right frequency. Maybe it has to do with the walls all around. There are many wires everywhere, and I have a feeling that they're spying on me. I will simply tear them out, and it will stop. Then I will finally be able to contact the probe and tell them what I think about this whole expedition. Or maybe I will contact the thing in the sand and offer it a trade. I will fight it. With my knife. Tonight. I will go outside and fight. Um, okay. Apparently you survived, because there's two more log entries. I killed her. I know that it was the right thing to do. The thing in the sand must be pleased with me, because after I made an offering last night, the body was no longer there. Maybe if I will take them out one by one. Wait, maybe if I will... Maybe if I will take them out one by one. I think this is supposed to say, maybe if I'll take them out one by one, the thing will have mercy and spare me that horrible call. It's coming to me, calling me. That sound, that horrible yet calming sound of its arrival. I will call him tonight. He didn't come. How is this possible? I need to lay low for the time being. I will pretend I know nothing about the thing in the sand or about my beautiful sacrifice. They will know soon. And if they don't, I will tell them. I will tell them for sure. They will know. And if they don't, I will tell them. Uh, oh, okay. It just goes on and on and on and on. I killed her. You killed who? Who did you kill? Marita? He made an offering of one of the crew members, obviously. Alright, well, I've got the password, or at least most of it, to Benjamin's datapad. Okay, so which datapad have I not read? I've read that one. Oh, there's Marita's. Ooh. Hold on. I was just thinking to look at the dates. So anyone whose dates show up after he said that he killed her obviously is not her. So let's see if Marita's the woman that he sacrificed. So 37th, 437. Uh, 
It could be. These are both on the same day. He said, I killed her. She could have wrote, you know, written the log in the morning. And this was later in the day. It might be Marita. I mean, hell, I don't, I'm actually not sure if there's any other women that were on this station. So maybe it has to be Marita. This should be Benjamin's. Yes. Okay. Did they make this password to be as annoying as possible? I'm going to have to type that in many, many times unless I get very lucky. Okay. E79. A12. I don't suppose I can copy and paste? No. Well, let's try them all. E79A12ZWU1. Of course not. E79A12ZWU2. Well, this is exciting. Three. Oh, fuck me. Four. Five. Should start at the other end of the spectrum. Six. There we go. Ooh, it's a long one. Three pages. Alright, time to bring this place to life. Looks like I won't have much to do here, unlike on Elpis Alpha, where the insulation took ages to get right. Talk about harsh conditions. I just hope we don't stay here for too long. Being stuck in such a wasteland is worse than trying to have a party in a small town of three. One good thing is that we won't need our guns this time around. The server room is pretty much set. The printing was flawless this time, so that's one less PIA. I really don't want to crawl in the sand to track down where our glorious Mr. Yamabushi made a mistake this time. Plus, any, uh, plus my supplies of duct tape are far from endless. What does he mean about the printing? The server room is pretty much set. The printing was flawless. I was thinking, I was kind of joking before about maybe it's a 3D printer, right? Printing out these things, like literally printing them. Maybe that's actually true? The printing was flawless. Hmm, maybe. Maybe they do print the parts. All the tests were successful. It's not much fun with all these automated tests running. Somehow it feels like the next expedition will need only a trained monkey to push buttons. I am not even going to deploy all the perimeter units. Too much hassle to monitor what? Sand? I think the protocols will do the job just fine. Besides, who else would understand anything written there? I just hope we'll get out of here ASAP. I have to work with Cassie sometimes and it's like working with an Autobot. Oh, Cassie. Yeah, she's she was down here too, right? I think. Something is not right. I wonder what's going on in this place. Do we get to witness some more unexpected seismic activity? I don't want to alert the crew just yet, but... Maybe I should have thought twice about not setting up the perimeter devices. I'm gonna take care of that first thing today. It's total nonsense that there's something out there. I bet all we'll find is sand and more sand. All the weird phenomena is just our minds trying to fill in the blank spots. Plus any horror movies we've ever seen. And then again, maybe not. We've actually accidentally sampled something which can't be produced by the sand itself. Sending it to our beauty up there for proper analysis. We don't have enough equipment here for detailed ana analysis on site, but a quick for yay or something like that, analysis reveals some interesting stuff in the infrasound portion of the audio spectrum. Guess I'm finally ready to do some real work. I think I just need to automate this, as we might not be that lucky again. Better set a trap for that sinister sound. 
Why do I have a feeling that I'm the only one doing anything here? The sound has returned, so it was not a random phenomenon. I tried to talk to Steven about it, but that was pointless. We need some solid analysis, and using makeshift code it doesn't really count. I got back some readings from the probe which showed that there was nothing in the sample I sent. Pure bullshit. Even my primitive code found the infra frequencies. The response itself is weird too. Was someone interfering with communication? I'm going to change the communication frequency to be sure that there's no man in the middle. I also found out how to automate the sound sampling. I will do a constant look, uh, look up for sound amplitude at all the perimeter devices, and as soon as there's a sharp change, I'll start sampling. The worst case is that we will record someone from the crew, but everyone is a bit spooked. Maybe we should just return to the probe. Roger is a real crackpot. I know that we're stuck here in the sand and the sounds don't help, but his fantasies about some huge monster trying to get us are really obnoxious. Even if we didn't have enough problems. I feel like they think I'm their unspoken leader now. Come on, kids. I'm just a computer geek who knows a thing or two and can fix things with duct tape. What worries me even more is that the probe's communication channel has been off and on lately. I hope they're alright up there. Today I showed them my audio creation. It works great, and in the last few days I was able to confirm that the sound returns at exactly the same time each day. However, there's something menacing about the rest of the day. The perimeter devices indicate that something may be constantly circling the station at a slight distance and then come really close at 5... PT? Uh, what time is that? Pacific? Pacific time? Yeah. I guess. Planet time? <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> I, d I don't think Pacific Time has any meaning here. It's probably Planet Time or something. Well, whatever. Five time of some unit. Every day like a machine. There's also a slight progression every day. The amplitude gets louder and louder. I hope we're not being hunted, or... Is it preparing to make contact? So my fears were valid. We are screwed. It came deep in the night, pounding into the station. Apart from the damaged hull, we can't establish a handshake with a probe anymore. This means no communication, nada. And there's something out there ready to get us. And if that wasn't enough, there's now some green slime out there. Why I have to remember all the crappy horror movies I've ever seen, I don't know. In other news, someone was messing, messing with my datapad. Do we have a hidden agenda going on here? Alright, so that was Roger messing with his datapad. Yep, Roger went totally nuts. We need to get rid of him. Anyhow. It came back. This time it was more destructive than ever. Our main air generator is down, and we have to manually replace the containers in the outside backup unit. Should we throw a dice to pick who's going out there? Well, in case anything happens to me, the server room code is... blah blah blah. Palindrome? I have no idea what that means. Okay. It's hungry. I've been throwing up all day. I was not prepared to see that. See what 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 did it eat? One of the crewmen? Still no contact with the probe and I am now in charge by a majority vote. Oh joy! If we want to survive, we definitely have to find a way to reduce our air consumption. We need to keep container replacement to an absolute minimum, and try to synchronize our outside movements to when the horrible thing is gone. Time to study how the air circulates through the station. We should shut down unused rooms and get the air circulating in a smaller space. Cassie is gone. Then, a few days ago, it got Steven. Wait, no, it is Stefan, isn't it? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, isn't that... Am I going crazy, or is that spelled differently from how it was spelled before? Because that's not pronounced Steven, isn't that Stefan? St Maybe I'm going crazy. Hold on, I'm going to check that in a minute. Anyway, it got S Stefan, or Steven, or whatever, who died today. Marita is also missing. 
What happened to her? This place is so messed up. Today I'll try to repair the communication system at all costs. If we don't get the probe to respond, we are absolutely done for. 37. Wasn't that the date that Roger said he had sacrificed someone? In this case, it says Cassie and Marita are both missing, so I'm not sure which one it was that he sacrificed. No point in keeping a diary anymore. Roger finally gave in to his madness and blew up half the station, messing with the wires and air. I have no will to go on. I've disconnected all the pipes, so as much air comes in as possible. Unless I go outside, there's no way to get any more. And even if I did, I would just postpone the inevitable. We've been betrayed by Lark and everyone on the probe. They could have saved us if they sent anyone down here. We're not worth a damn to them. <laughs> As if I'm surprised. This is my last entry. I bet the probe is elsewhere anyway, and I'll be the last one to die in here. If anyone ever reads this, well... Whatever. Famous last words. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh. Alright. Stefan. I believe that is Stefan. Now I know the person's name was mentioned somewhere else here. Yes! I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. Look at this. Steven. E. E. Two E's. Instead of an E, it's an A. Okay, I'm not going crazy. So is it Steven or Stefan? I think it's Stefan. Okay, server room code. Oh yeah, the the uh, keypad. 795597. Oh my. Look at all these ups. So many ups. Where's the downs? Those are uninterruptible power supply units. The vast majority of these are still operational, despite the overall server room condition. All the station data files are stored in these data clusters. Let's hope we'll be able to get something from here. This place appears to be in shockingly bad condition. I'm sorry. I just hope we can find something useful. It was a real pain to get in there. I am going to search through the data files, but it will take a while. Have you found anything? Not really. The majority of the data is corrupted. Can you at least upload all the visual data? There is not much to upload. Shut up and just do it. All right. Uploading now. I love that she's getting fed up with Mobot. Just as like I, I expected. Am. Another upgrade. What for? Mobot's underwater operations. Are you telling me that you expected to find it? I could see that Mobot was hiding something from us. I, I'm sorry, what? Look at that. A machine capable of lying. I believe he knows very well what that upgrade is for. Just you wait, Mobot. You're going to have a very long bath. I don't even know what the hell is happening anymore. Why would Mobot lie? Um, th uh, whatever. <laughs> I feel like there's still a data pad I haven't accessed. Is there? I've got that one. Yeah, I did that one. It's Rogers. It's Prins. Prinzes. I've never found Cassie's, have I? I just went in there. I just went in there. I, I guess I did. Look at them all. Oh, wait, what about this one? Oh, yeah, it's Marita's. Let 
Well, I guess that is all of them. Okay, so I'm not supposed to do anything with the creature, now that I have the sound thingy. Hello, creature? Huh? I guess not. Guess we gotta go make an underwater thingy. I feel like there's something I was gonna do, though. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I just remembered. The, uh... The patterns. Um, how do you access the patterns? Oh, God. I pressed the wrong button. No, take me back. Where the hell is it? Oh, yeah, it's in the log. There we go. See, I know there's more patterns. But apparently I haven't unlocked any more of them. I'm surprised. Does that mean there's more to this place? I don't have enough information to actually even piece everything together? Hmm. Alright, well, let's go make the blueprint. Last free slot. Underwater Operations Extension. Okay, uh, this one looks long. Yes, it does. Hmm. Oh my god, there's 17 bendy pieces. <laughs> of course, this one shows all these straight lines, but it only gives me three straight lines and gives me a bunch of bendy pieces. Alright, we're gonna bend our way to victory. But, uh, I'll cut it out because it's probably gonna take a while. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have it. That's it. I did it. Oh, thank God. There we go. We are now equipped for underwater operations. Which we can go ahead and use on... Zenobia. Okay, well, I will save the exploration of the sea for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.